Hello YouTube, welcome to a new video. It's Vex here and today I want to be talking to you about a new update in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Uh, this is update patch 1.04 I believe, or 1.05, I don't know, I think it's, no, 1.04 is what I think it is. And this came live uh, yesterday, I believe, and it's come with, well, well it's, uh, what am I saying? It's come with a lot of uh, changes in game. For instance, they're now adding in this new thing called Call of Duty Points, which is uh, like the microtransaction currency, or the new microtransaction in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Because obviously there wasn't one beforehand, and now this is their like attempt at putting one in. And every single user that logs in today... Uh, December 15th, when this video is live, uh, you'll get fr a free load of 200 Call of Duty coins, which translates or converts to even £1.59 or $2 uh, when buying from the Xbox Live store. So, if you want to go earn yourself $2 or something just by playing your favourite game, wink wink, uh, go ahead and log into Black Ops 3 right now. This is available for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. So Xbox 360 and PS3 users, you're not going to be getting free 200, uh, 300, free 200 coins. Can't speak today. Uh, actually, I'm not even sure if you're going to get the Call of Duty points feature. I believe you are though, but I'm no, actually, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. But they've also done a load of other things. Uh, for instance, they've made a load of weapon changes. So they've buffed a lot of guns and they've nerfed a lot of guns. Uh, the KN44, for example. It's got increased recoil, or increased recoil control. Uh, they've also made some changes to the Black Ops 3 Master Prestige levels. So basically, when you get Master Prestige in Black Ops 3, you can now, it is, well, it's believed that you can go all the way up from level 55 all the way up to level 1000. That's what, that's just what people have reported in saying. We're not, no one's entirely sure about this yet, because obviously no one's gotten level 1000, none of that, uh, but that's what people are saying, so we're just going to go with that until uh, further notice, I suppose, but then again, that's just kind of a rumour, but eh, it's, a lot of people have said it, so it's, I'll give you a link to the uh, source that I'm using for this uh, in the description, so if you want to go check it out yourself, there's a load more in-depth information on there. But, yeah, so, they've also added in a new match counter, which I'm not entirely sure what it does, but, uh, yeah, that's that's another thing. Uh, additionally, to the black market, because the Call of Duty points can be spent on getting, like, supply drops and everything, uh, with the black market, they've also added in a new feature. I'm not sure if they had... Re no, I don't think they had recently acquired, but they now have... Um, Burn duplicates, which, as it says uh, down here, it will burn all duplicate black market contraband for credit towards crypto keys. So basically, any duplicate uh, camos, uh, I believe, yeah, just any duplicates that you can get from supply drops, you can then burn them, or I think it, you could convert, like in Advanced Warfare, you could convert your weapons into uh, XP you can now convert it into crypto keys. So, if you keep getting really bad camos or whatever, go ahead and burn them, get more crypto keys, and open more supply drops, and hopefully you'll get something a bit better. So that is a really cool feature I like. It's just, it, it gives it gives use for camos and everything that you get twice, basically. Which is brilliant, because there's no point in getting two of the same thing. Yeah. I've always liked that feature. And I'm really happy to see it in... Black Ops 3. They've also... Sorry, I just had to quickly scroll up, but... They've also made some changes to the split screen... Uh, game... Uh, game mode, I suppose? Is it a game mode? Technically. Um, basically, it will now look better... Better textures, it will load faster. All that stuff. You can also quick join... Quick join... Uh, your friends now through the social tab I believe well yeah yeah you can just you can quick join people so it's just it's quickly joining 
I believe you were already able to join through the social tab actually, so I'm not entirely sure about that either. This is all this is all really new stuff, so there's no like proper verified sources on it. There's no properly released patch notes, so I I'm just I'm just going from what I like what I've read around and things. There's also finally uh, an option to when you make a custom game to go ahead and save your game rules I believe I'm not entirely sure how you go about it but it's definitely in there I'll actually have a look here for you quickly yeah you can save it now you can save settings and yeah so if you if you want to know how I did that go ahead and hit edit game rules edit them however you want like let's just say I want that five minutes Save, custom game, save, and yeah, so that's how that works. That's actually quite cool. And then I suppose, uh, is it my showcase? I'm not entirely sure. Community, maybe? Oh, you can actually, oh, that's actually quite cool. The, it looks like no one's actually made any public yet, but you can actually uh, go ahead and download custom game modes. From the community, so that's a pretty cool thing actually to be seeing as well. That's yeah. Okay, well, that's all I have time for in this video, guys. They've do, they've done a lot of buffing and nerfing of guns, so if you want to go ahead and read up on about about that, I really haven't got time to go through and explain all of them because there's been literally there's been tons. So go ahead and click that link in the description. Show them some love because I used uh they well they were a brilliant source for me making this video. And yeah, uh, if you want to go ahead and read up on all that stuff, as I said, more detail, all of it's in there. It's quite a big read, but it's well worth it. This is a brilliant update, and I'm really liking what Treyarch's doing so far. They've done everything brilliantly, and I'm very, very pleased that they're making this current Call of Duty. If you guys did enjoy it, go ahead and smack that like button, and leave your opinions down below in the comment section. Tell me what I did good, what I did bad. You got any more information or anything towards this patch go ahead and leave it in the comment section help out other people uh and yeah go ahead and smack the subscribe button if you'd like to see more of my future content i upload daily 1080p 60 fps gaming videos on things like black ops 3 obviously csgo any game that i'm liking right now that's popular and yeah guys i'll see you in the next one